Hello my friends and viewers, this time I'm going to review um, probably for second time but uh, to be honest I, I cannot recall if I did uh, may make a review of this ship uh, previously or not so it uh, may be the first review of uh, Polar uh, battle cruiser or heavy cruiser it is an Italian uh, battle cruiser whose uh, main armament uh, are eight uh, uh, 203 mm cannons, uh, which fire powerful uh, high explosive shells and also uh, armor piercing shells, which are pretty effective against uh, armor targets. It also carries a single seaplane, which can be used. Uh, to capture enemy points from afar however by the uh, by the point I had started recording this uh, review I had uh, unfortunately I had uh, lost my seaplane in a futile attempt at capturing uh, a point however Sometimes uh, if your enemies uh, do not notice uh, the, fact, uh, the fact that you had launched the seaplane, you can uh, successfully capture an enemy point uh, with uh, this plane or even uh, kill a, an enemy seaplane, which sometimes does happen. Uh, previously, uh, I, uh, heavy cruisers uh, were in a pretty bad position uh, against uh, enemy battleships however i feel like uh, all but uh, all heavy cruisers in the game got uh, upgraded uh, uh, they uh, can uh, sustain a lot more damage now than before and uh, it uh, also ma it makes all heavy cruisers in the game including uh, the italian heavy cruiser pola uh, much more effective as you can notice uh, one uh, lucky salvo of high explosive shells is usually enough to set enemy ship on fire This salvo killed uh, 60 enemy crewmen and also destroyed some models. I switched to armor piercing shells uh, because uh, my enemy is a cruiser. And uh, now it's done. Oh no, all, almost done. Or almost. In this battle I had managed uh, to get 4 kills and uh, I had finished uh, being first in my team so basically I was uh, the most valuable player of this uh, battle so enemy cruiser got destroyed now I will probably fast forward to the next kill Unfortunately, the Polar Heavy Cruiser has its own downsides uh, too. And the biggest downside of this Heavy Cruiser, especially if you compare it uh, to some other uh, ships like, uh, for example, French Light Cruiser Duguay Touraine, um, 
the major downside of Polar is uh, pretty weak uh, anti-air armament, which means that uh, enemy aircraft will uh, have, have an easier job at uh, bombing you out of the game. And uh, unfortunately, it's pretty bad situa situation since, uh, in my experience, uh, I had made from my experience, I had made a conclusion that uh, a one ton uh, bomb is enough uh, to kill uh, most of the ships in the game, including even uh, battleships. Uh, one ton bomb. Uh, or one uh, 1,000 kilogram bomb uh, or two uh, 1,000 uh, pound bombs are usually enough to kill uh, most uh, ships in the game. Your only protection from uh, the enemy planes carrying uh, big bombs is uh, are your, uh, I'm sorry, for a mistake, uh, the only protection against uh, enemy planes with l heavy bombs uh, are your anti-air guns and unfortunately uh, Pola doesn't have enough uh, anti-air armament uh, to stop uh, a dedicated enemy player with a heavy bomb. So I had almost finished uh, this uh, destroyer. So, another kill. Fast forward to the third kill. Unfortunately, this guy escaped my guns. However, this destroyer didn't.
This guy had uh, gotten had got too close to my heavy cruiser. Massive damage. Unfortunately, enemy fire had uh, set my uh, cruiser on fire. Another kill. Pass forward to the next kill. Oh, now I'm going to show you why uh, enemy planes are dangerous and uh, why uh, ships with uh, heavy anti-air armament are much more valuable with than ships with, for example, heavy torpedo armament. My Messerschmitt BF-110 is carrying uh, uh, one one-ton bomb and, uh, uh, one, and one 250 kilograms bomb. And now, despite being uh, basic, basically dead, I had managed to score a hit on the enemy light cruiser. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe and please support Ukraine in whatever way you can. Slava Ukraini and see you later.